Hello everyone. Good morning. Welcome to new soft training offered by InnoGeeks. In this video, we'll see how to configure a HTTPS connection for REST API. So in the previous video, we've seen how to deploy a cloud up, how to deploy a mule flow to the cloud hub. And yeah, we, we have seen how to do it. And after it is deployed, yes, we were, uh, an endpoint was generated and we were also able to successfully invoke that endpoint, right? So we have deployed this uh, YT Hello World Mule application in the previous one. In case you haven't watched that video, please watch it and then come back to this one. And we were able to successfully invoke this endpoint and get a expected response. So I can send in a request now. And uh, all we're doing in that flow is prefixing hello to this name and sending that back as a response. And we are, we are getting back a response. But if you look at the URL, it is using, uh, it is using a HTTP connection which is not a secure one. So you might probably want to configure a HTTPS connection for your endpoints, okay? And let's see what happens if I change this to HTTPS and send in a, connect, send in a request. You see that we've, we've got a bad gateway error, right? So which means whenever you deploy a Mule applications to Cloud Hub, whenever you deploy Mule applications to Cloud Hub, they get deployed as HTTP endpoints and in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure HTTPS for such REST APIs. Okay, so let's see how to do it. So a uh, couple of prerequisites to enable HTTPS, you have to create SSL certificate and a keystore.jks file. And you can do it with the help of a key tool executable available under JDK. So if you have JDK software installed, in your laptop, you need to you need to have this installed for you to be able to generate this this key store. Okay, so have a JDK install. Uh, this is my version, uh, 1.8.0.251 is the version that I am using. So I'll use a key tool available within that JDK to generate a SSL certificate and a key store.jks file, and I can do it by running this command which is highlighted in yellow. And if you look at this command, we're trying to generate a generate a key store which is named keystore.jks and we are using a password as a password yeah it might sound silly but i just want to keep it simple so password i'm using the exact string password as a password and i'm using the algorithm rsa and i'm using a key size of 2048 which is which is i believe the complex one available out and i'm creating it as with an alias name of mule so uh, this command if i execute it from command prompt it it creates a key store and i will use that later on in the listener configuration of the mule flow okay so let's go ahead and copy this command open the command prompt and you can paste in that command. It will prompt you to en uh, enter a few questions. Okay, so it, it says mule already exists. So I'll just a prefix one at the end, or maybe two. Okay, so the, uh, I've, I've generated a key store or uh, I've generated alias earlier. So it's, it's complaining that mule already exists. So I just changed it to mule2, it's fine. And it's prompting me to enter the first name and last name. I'll say user2, you know, geeks, company name, you know, geeks, name of organization, you know, geeks, a city, Hyderabad, state, Telangana, two letter country code, IN, and it, ask for your final confirmation, just say yes. And yeah, but if you don't see it, you, you don't get a confirmation message, but yes, this Mule2 alias would have been created, which you can use in the listener configuration of the Mule application. Okay, it just throws a warning that you can uh, migrate to a different format, but that's okay, you can ignore that warning. Go back to the Mule application, go back to listener, edit the connection 
or you can also go to connections from global elements if you want edit it and currently the, the protocol that we are using is http so let's change it to pls and change the configuration type to edit in line and you can key in the details here okay so uh, let's enter the path as a keystore.jks and the password is password okay and the type that is a jks store that we have created okay select jks and use the alias as mule algorithm and you can you can leave out everything else so we are, we are populating this in the in the trust store configuration that should be fine and we need to alias a mule name as well scroll down yeah i think we should probably copy the key store configuration it's a jks store enter the path the password you can enter the password as password itself copy the same as key password and you're going to enter the alias as uh, mule2 because i believe that's that's the alias that we have used a uh, mule2 okay and we can test the connection and see if it works fine and take out this password i don't think it's required or let's leave it like that let's test the connection and see We should see a confirmation message soon. Okay, so yeah, we we haven't changed the type to HTTPS and uh, the port to 8082. So we missed this bit. Uh, I violated it in the PPT. So it changed the protocol first to HTTPS and 8082. That's when the TLS uh, configuration comes into picture. Okay, and let's go ahead and test the connection again. But there is one more step that we have to do, uh, which we missed. So we uh, generated a key store here. So uh, uh, we generated this keystore.jks file and it is sitting in this uh, directory so we need to copy it from there and we need to upload it to a resources directory in the mule application so i've done that so i've copied this copied this keystore.jks file that is generated today so uh, in fact a while ago and i have uploaded to this uh, main resources folder and after we do that if we go ahead and test the connection you should see that it's working fine. Yeah, edit the connection. You could probably change this to HTTPS, port as 80, 82, TLS, edit inline, and change the type to JKS. Enter the path as keystore.jks. Alias name is mule2, and the key password is a password and password is also a password to keep it simple i've used uh, i've used password itself as a password and we can go ahead and test the connection you okay, see that the con uh, connection is successful 
So we can go ahead and, and save the application. So we have, uh, we have the prerequisites in place now. We have SSL certificate and the keystore.jks are generated. And uh, we can go ahead and, and deploy this application again to a cloud hub now. And after that, we can test if, if the API is going to accept a HTTPS connection, yes or no. Okay, let's go ahead and redeploy this. Deploy to Cloud Hub. Remember, we, de we deployed the HTTP endpoint in the previous video, and we are deploying this as a HTTPS one. Okay, tick this box, overwrite existing application, that's fine. And let's go ahead and deploy it. and go back to the runtime manager to verify the deployment. Then you see that the application is getting updated at the moment. And if you want to look at the logs, you can get into the application and click on logs to see what's going on in the background. Okay, so you, you notice that it's getting deployed again because we, we have enabled that uh, overwrite option. So it's uh, it'll first deploy a worker to uh, AWS region. And then on top of that worker, it'll uh, install this application or run that, or deploy this application rather. And let's wait for the application to come up. And once it comes up, we should be able to successfully send in HTTPS request to that uh, to that endpoint. Let's give it a minute. Okay, we see that the application is uh, has started successfully, and let's go back to Postman now, and uh, let's send in a HTTPS request to this endpoint. Uh, let's send in. Earlier we were getting an error message, and now you could see that uh, uh, we're getting a proper response now. Okay, so this is how you enable a HTTPS on a REST endpoint. Okay. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. In case you are interested in MuleSoft training offered by UnoGeeks, please call us on this number or send a WhatsApp message, or you can also mail us on info at Thank you.